This is Chris Hunt for Youth One Basketball. I'm here with Jake Furbrush, a sixth grade guard slash forward here for at the Junior Phenom Camp. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Great. Okay. Um, what have you? What do you think so far of the Junior Phenom Camp? Um, it's really good camp because it's more than just a, like playing basketball and getting better at your basketball. They're talking about hey, it's always important to have good grades and just if you're not a good student, then you're not going to get into a very good college. So that's the first priority, and then the basketball will come with it. Uh, compared to the competition that you faced back home, how is it out here going against all these guys from all around the country? Well, it's definitely a little bit harder because these are all the great players from all around the country, but um, it's still really fun just to get out here and be challenged a little bit and just going at people. Uh, what's the one thing you've learned so far uh, throughout the weekend from either the coaches or uh, all the speakers out here? that it's just really important to stay in school and that um, to, be in, to, to get into a good college that you need to have a high GPA because that's the first thing that the college coaches look at. So, so we've been out there watching all the drills and the warm-ups. Uh, what's the toughest thing that you've uh, had to endure so far since you've been here? Well, uh, we left a lot of trash in the cafeteria, so they made us do leg lifts, <laughs> and those were really, really hard, and I didn't like those at all. Uh, has there any, been anything that you've been surprised uh, at so far uh, since you've been out here? Just the competition. I didn't know that there's, there's really big kids out here that even in the sixth grade, and I didn't know that you could be that tall and be a sixth grader. So, What's the one thing that you've tried to actually develop uh, since you've been here? Is there a specific part of your game that you wanted to work on and you came out here to do that? Probably my mid-range jump shot because I'm usually like a driver. And I try to take it to the hoop, but I need to develop my jump shot a little better, so I'm trying to do that. Okay, so obviously since you're a basketball player, you follow the pros in college. Uh, do you have a favorite team in the NBA? Um, I like the Celtics because of Ray Allen, but now he's going to trade into the Heat, so I'm not sure. If What's your opinion on him going to uh, the bitter rivals of the Boston Celtics? I don't really know. I I think it's good for him because now he gets to play along other players that have different skills, uh, like driving to the hoop and then passing it out to him. But I'd rather him stay with the Celtics because that's where he's been and that's my favorite team. So, How about college? Do you have a favorite college team? I always like Duke. I think they're a really good team. They have different, a lot of different skills. And um, just they're, it's always where I wanted to go to college and I want to play there someday. Okay. One last thing I want you to do, I want you to point to the camera out here and I want you to tell all of the players uh, out there throughout the country watching this video for the Junior Phenom Camp just some inspirational words on them trying to develop their game as well. Well, you just, you got to work hard and you, the first person that dives on the ball is always going to get it. You got to be the best effort, you got to give the hardest work and just stay in school and just play, just do well. Hard work is what it's all about. For Youth One, I'm Chris Hunt. This is Jake Furbrush. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck out there for the rest of the weekend, and we'll see you out there on the court.